Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, the father of modern communist China, was born in 1893 in the family of a poor peasant. His early years were a period of great hardship. He joined the Revolutionary Army of Dr. Sun Yat-sen at the age of 16 but left the same after some time. Under the impact of the Russian Revolution Mao started organizing the laborers and students. In 1921 he founded the Communist Party of China along with some other top leaders. Mao was not a systematic political thinker. His political ideas lie scattered in works like On Contradiction and On Practice, New Democracy. It may be noted that Mao did not provide any comprehensive philosophy or political theory. He was mainly concerned with the popularization of communist tenets. Mao modified Marxism according to the conditions prevailing in China. Mao held that leadership of the revolution in China would be provided to the peasants. He did not accept the view of Marx and Lenin that dictatorship of the proletariat shall be a transitory stage and the state would ultimately wither away. Instead Mao asserted that the phase of dictatorship of the proletariat would last over many decades because the socialist revolution on the economic front must be accompanied by the political and ideological revolution. In short Mao believed in the perpetual character of the revolution. Mao strongly opposed capitalism and asserted that there could not be any peace or accommodation with the capitalism because the two systems were opposed to each other. Mao also put forth the idea of people's war. He wanted to bring about two revolutions simultaneously, one against the imperial and colonial rule and the other against the feudal lords. Mao considered the people as more important instrument of war than weapons. In short, he laid emphasis on the theory of total revolution by the totality of the people. Mao also put forth a theory of guerrilla warfare. Mao stood for avoiding a battle in which victory was not sure. Instead, he favored guerrilla war, which would destroy the enemy and preserve self. As Mao put it, when guerrillas engage a stronger enemy, they withdraw when he advances, harass him when he stops, strike when he is weary, pursue him when he withdraws. Mao was a strong advocate of philosophy of power. He asserted, political power grows wanted out of the barrel of gun. He said that whosoever wanted to seize the political power and maintain it must have a strong army. He was also a strong advocate of war was convinced that war alone could bring an end to the capitalism and install communism. In 1965-66 Mao launched a cultural revolution to downgrade the role of the party and upgrade the role of masses. After accomplishing the cultural revolution he set up revolutionary committees, which took over the powers of the state as well as the party in different areas. Intimately connected with Mao's views on cultural revolution was his theory of knowledge. Mao, instead of laying emphasis on rational knowledge, laid emphasis on practical knowledge. He held that maximum knowledge could be obtained through personal participation rather than through rational faculty. In simple words Mao held that the best way to acquire knowledge was through personal participation in the activities. Marx adopted a tolerant attitude towards the bourgeoisie class on pragmatic grounds. This attitude was also in keeping with Mao's theory of non-antagonistic contradictions among the four classes proletariat, peasantry, petty bourgeoisie and national bourgeoisie of the Chinese society. Mao believed that these diverse classes could coexist in peace because their interests did not necessarily conflict with each other. A look at the above ideas of Mao Zedong shows that he greatly modified Marxism in the light of China's rural oriental character and realities of the situation.